Bitcoin has broken out above $64,000. This was a huge trade opportunity that I was talking about over the weekend with a long position on this breakout candle right here with that close in there with a nice tight stop loss and profit up here at the 65 to $67,000. Let's roll the intro and then get right down into today's video. Hi guys, welcome back to another Bitcoin video, another Bitcoin update. And today we are taking a look at the technical analysis on the four hour time frame. We are paired up with USDT and we are using Binance as the data source. As I was talking about in the intro there, we were talking about this potential opportunity over the weekend, a breakout candle here with a retest of our trend line and our target yet to be hit. Again, we probably wouldn't want to enter right now unless we get a close above that previous swing high at 64,000. If we do, we might have another opportunity opportunity to kind of come into another long position. But ultimately, our opportunity was over the weekend with this breakout opportunity, a great risk reward ratio of around 3.1, just to get us into the lower range of the take profit. If we go to the higher range, it is about 5 0.29 risk reward ratio, basically meaning that you'd get $5.29 for every $1 of risk. And it is a fantastic way to basically multiply your profit if you use proper risk management. If you are not using proper risk management and you're not getting good risk reward ratios, i.e., risk reward ratios that are above minimum of 1.5, then you are potentially just putting yourself at unnecessary risk, just gambling on the market. Ultimately, I prefer risk reward ratios of 1.5 or higher. The higher, the better. The lower the stop loss or the tighter the stop loss, the better the risk reward ratio, but you have to use proper analysis and risk management alongside that. Now, if you are to go long on the market, or if I am to be going long on the market, I'm going to be using BitGet. BitGet is my go-to platform when it comes to leverage based trades. There's an affiliate link to BitGet in the description down below. If you haven't already checked it out, I do urge you guys to do so. It's a really easy to use platform that has so many resources that help you get into trading. Do you have to be aware of the risks that are involved though? If you are trading in the crypto space, you do run the risk of losing your entire crypto portfolio or even all of your capital altogether. Okay, this is because leverage multiplies your wins and multiplies your losses. It's important that you understand how to do this kind of trading process properly. Now, if you are to be looking to sign up to BitGet, there is up to $30,000 of rewards and bonuses available, depending on where you are around the world. There's lots of terms and conditions associated with it, but if you do use that link in the description down below, you are eligible for up to $30,000. Just pay attention to the terms and conditions and the jurisdiction restrictions on their website. Not all countries can participate in such a reward and bonus-based system. Again, it's important that you do your own research and use proper risk management when trading. So for Bitcoin here, it was a fantastic opportunity and we'd be in some fantastic green positions right now had we been trading this one. And so as we can see, we still have the potential for this move to the upside, right? We're not yet there. And if we do close above $64,000, that's going to be another bullish sign for a move to the upside. Now, our target range is at the moment 65,323 to 67,508 dollars. This is the range that I think we are likely to go to. And this is because this range here is going to be the area of massive resistance, in my opinion, based on Fibonacci sequencing. If we measure the Fibonacci area from the high to the low here, you can see that the 1.236 to the 1.618 happens to fall directly directly in this range. This is a range that is going to resonate with people and they're going to resonate with it subconsciously. This is going to be an area where people feel that they should be taking profit. And so this is the range that we're likely to see Bitcoin's price kind of reject from. Now, don't get me wrong, we might overextend. There's a few scenarios here where we can see that there is a possibility for overextension, as in we hit this $65,000, then we have a small retracement and then another surge to the upside where we have that little bit higher than the 67K. We want to bear in mind that there's a few different options here as we kind of head up towards previous all-time highs for BTC. So Bitcoin's looking very good right now. Breakout of this area, we have our target range. 
what else is going on? Well, we're heavily overbought on the monthly and weekly stochastics, and the four hour stochastic is overbought right now. But other time frames are resetting and are showing us with some potential growth. Once we kind of achieve these highs, though, I do expect Bitcoin to cool off. And that calling off period could be a retest of the 50 EMA, 50 SMA, or maybe even as low as the 200 EMA. I think to start with, we want to pay attention to the 50 EMA, uh, which is currently coming in at $59,600. And as time progresses, we are likely to see this get retested because it will move up higher. Now, if we take our stochastic RSIs off and throw on our divergence indicators, you can see here that we had a hidden bullish divergence right as we had this little area on our apex getting tested out. This showed with, with this potential breakout and, of course, confirming our breakout of our trend line to the upside here for BTC. So everything there is looking good. Volume profiles are just spiking up a little bit, but are significantly lower than where they were previously. So just bear in mind that this, this move to the upside is not really fueled by significant significant spot volume, um, but will be fueled probably more from Bitcoin spot ETF stuff than anything else. Um, so for the most part, Bitcoin is looking pretty good as we move up into new yearly highs, as we head up back towards the previous all time high. And um, so as I said before, and I'll say it again, a target would be 65,323 to 67,508 on this four hour time frame. Let's rock this up or roll this up into our daily. OK, and here we can see all these previous areas that we were kind of targeting out. Now we can see that we are still really high on our stochastic RSI on the daily time frame. That's a little bit of concern. Our divergence indicator, the yellow line being the RSI, is also heavily overbought, also indicating that we are reaching the peak of this trend at the moment. Volume profiles are also low on the daily as we go up into new uh, daily highs. So higher highs, lower highs on the volume. So we have divergence here. We might not have divergence with the RSI, the relative strength index, but we do have divergence with the volume and the price action. Um, and again, that's not a positive at the moment. So it does look like we are reaching those upper areas where we will be looking for cooling off and we will be looking for a healthy correction on Bitcoin. I think we're getting very close to that point now for BTC. We take this up into our our um, weekly time frame, you can see that the weekly stochastic is also up in this overbought range. We take that off throat on our divergences. You can see the RSI is in the overbought range. And of course, our volume is really, really low. And it has been this low since March 2023. So we know the spot volumes are very low uh, in comparison to where everything else is sits. Uh, so we want to be really aware that things are not looking great from the macro view for Bitcoin. Um, but you know, a lot of people are just hyper focused on the four hour time frames, which look fantastic for these runs to the upside and make it look like you're having these parabolic moves. Um, but on the macro time frames and the macro landscape, things are not as good as maybe they need to be. But that being said, it only takes a small correction to reset a lot of that data and we can then start to see another fantastic run for BTC. So I wouldn't say that it's all over just yet. I still think there's a lot of potential for Bitcoin to rally up significantly higher, specifically as we see a lot of things going on with the Bitcoin spot ETFs soaking up so much supply, more supply that can even be mined and created for BTC. The price action is going to continue to do some pretty crazy things, in my opinion, until we start to see the stock market take a downturn. So why don't you check out this video here where I'm discussing what is going on with Cardano because I show Cardano has some potential as well with some moves and some breakouts to the upside.